Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Going Carnivore in Thailand. Today is a wonderful morning. Just getting ready to start my exercise. A little bit on behind today because, well, I got up and it was raining. It didn't rain for long. Then I started to go into the pool. And before I could get in, it started raining again after it had quit for a while. So now I'm here. Okay, what happened? Last night I had a delicious steak. It was a roy, as they say in Thailand. We let it sous vide for at least 16 hours at 58 degrees. And this came out much closer to rare than medium. And then we took it out of the sous vide and put it in the refrigerator and let it rest for a couple hours, taking all the temperature out of it in the refrigerator. And then Noy took the steak outside to our Thai kitchen where you can cook the smelly stuff and it doesn't get in the house. It's a really nice feature. More American houses ought to have it, tell you the truth. It, it's like an outdoor kitchen. Of course, in order to have an outdoor kitchen, you sort of need weather like this, you know, where in the wintertime it gets to a low at night of like 70, you know, at the on the bad days. So anyway, she took it outside and she seared the steak and seasoned it. Uh, she seasoned it and then seared it on a skillet and she did it over a gas flame because outside we have gas and inside we have induction electric for the stove. So she said it came out much better because she could control going from hot to, to less hot and she could control the flame better, she said. And she was right, it came out delicious. Now there's still this debate, and I haven't settled it in my own mind yet, as to how much fat of that steak I wanna eat. Now, the steak comes with, with a good amount of fat around the outside and some in the middle. And uh, it was so tender, you could just literally cut a piece of fat and cut a piece of steak and put the two together and have steak and, and fat. And I did that for, for some of it, but not all of it. I didn't eat all the fat. I ate some of the fat. And I'm trying to determine when you have as much fat to burn as me, don't you just give it a little teeny itsy bitsy Nitnoi bit of fat. Nitnoi in Thai means little bit, little, small, nitnoi. When they ask you if you speak Thai, nitnoi, just a tidbit from Thailand here. So don't you eat just a nitnoi of, of fat and then that gets your body used to it and says, wait a second, I'm burning fat, but I need more fat, so I want to go get some fat from uh, all this shit he's carrying around his middle. Uh, I can find fat other places if you don't want to give it to me from the steak. I don't know. Now, last night was the first live streaming uh, on the channel. And we had about 15 people show up. It was unannounced, and uh, there was a lot of questions asked of the people who showed up. You know, where are you from, and and what's your story? And we had people who went from, you know, 250 pounds down to 130 pounds, and uh, a lot of interesting people. And I'd love to interview some one on one rather than just the live stream. But the purpose of the live stream was I started a Facebook group on Facebook called Going Carnivore in Thailand. Same name as the channel. And if you search in the groups, 
you'll find it. Also, if you search in the description of this video, I have a link to it. And people can join there and instead of just commenting on a video, which I want the comments on the video, don't get me wrong. I need the comments on the video if I'm gonna grow this channel. I wanna thank you for the over 360 subscribers I have so far. And you guys are a loyal group of subscribers who are really interested in this stuff because I've had other YouTube channels. I started this one just for the carnivore. And this is the first time where I would put videos up and the majority of the viewers of the video are actually subscribed. I mean, it's like more people who are subscribed watch the video than people who just come in who've never been here before or who have not subscribed yet, which is really amazing. I've never had a channel that does that. Uh, of course, I do have the at sign Mark dash Hannah channel where I post videos like why I left Google uh, yesterday, interesting video that got a lot of, a lot of attention. Uh, not a ton of attention, but a, a good amount. So anyway, that's the story today. We went a little longer than I wanted to go, but I wanted to, uh, throw in the going carnivore in Thailand Facebook group page. Uh, I'd love to, to have the members start carrying on conversations. Doesn't cost anything to join, doesn't cost anything to be a member, doesn't cost anything to do anything. Yeah, I'm sure not doing this for the money because, well, Google don't pay me nothing. YouTube don't pay me nothing. Yeah, so I don't get paid by much of anything anymore. So I guess I'll just have to be fun employed. F-U-N employed, fun employed. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you later. That's all, folks.